Hey guys, what is happening? Carter here. Check it out. Look what I have here. Some of you may have seen this on my Instagram account. Yes, I do have an Instagram account. It is uh, juju1313, xiuxiu1313. Don't have a ton of stuff out there. I think only like three photos. I'm slowly starting to follow people. I'm not sure how active I'm going to be on uh, Instagram, but I am on there for now and uh, seeing what's going on. There's a really cool uh, knife community out there. Really, really cool. So, yeah, if you want to, catch me on there. But in the meantime, let's take a look at this beautiful knife. This is a Chris Reeve Sebenza, a large 21 with ebony inlays. You can see right there that beautiful wood, nice and dark wood, titanium scales as usual. S35 VN steel right there. I've definitely missed my 21 since I sold it. Never should have sold it. Really like that micarta. Uh, but, quick story, when I was originally going to buy my micarta Sebenza, this one was a close second. I was deciding between the ebony inlay or the micarta inlay. I ended up going with the micarta just because I thought this was a little too classy for me, a little too pretty, and pretty it is. You can see there, the main differences between this and your standard 21 and even the micarta, well actually let's talk about the micarta inlay 21. Um, same price point as a micarta, but pretty different in terms of finish. Uh, first of all, your standard 21 as well as the micarta has an all stone washed blade. This one here, if we can get some zoom in, has stone washed flats and then satin grinds on the hollow grind right there. You can see the uh, grind marks on it. Beautiful, beautiful. I love that look. I love the stone washed flats and, uh, and or bead blast or sand blasted flats with the satin grind lines. Just looks amazing. See that crown spine right there? Single thumb stud. Uh, this one has a gold colored thumb stud and then a gold colored standoff right there. Uh, the other difference, moving along, is satin flats on the titanium scales. Get some of that smudge off there. So that is satin right here on all the flats on both sides except for the lock bar. So right here is where the cutoff point is and it becomes sandblasted. I'm not sure what the reasoning is behind that. I don't know if that's to increase pocket retention. You can see the pocket clip is blasted as well or what the deal is there, but it definitely looks cool. You can see those little lines ground right there. That's right where it switches between satin and blasted. And the micarta version is all blasted, so it doesn't have satin flats but it does still have these little grooves here and the regular 21 does not have these grooves there. Just a little information for you. Um, in fact, all inlaid Sebenzas, as far as I know, all the inlaid 21 Sebenzas that are wood are set up like this with the satin flats and the satin grind lines. The only different one is the micarta which is all blasted and all stone washed like a standard one would be can see the this is all blasted the ends right here the edges all this is blasted all around here it's blasted inside the uh, logo so obviously what they've done here is they blast everything and then they take it afterwards and satin it on the flats and it almost looks like they do this bend here so that the lock bar is bent in so that way if they press it to uh, give it the satin. It cuts off right there. I'm not sure if that's what they do for sure, but it seems like it might be the case. But anyways, absolutely gorgeous blade. I love this thing. It is smooth as freaking butter. I don't know how long I'll have it. Um, I'm at a point right now where I really just can't afford expensive knives, and I think I'm going to get into um, more inexpensive production knives for a while. But uh, I will enjoy this while I have it. And uh, hopefully you guys will be seeing this again. Absolutely awesome knife. Really like it. I've got the original lanyard on there. 
perfectly centered. Oh, and uh, before I go, apparently this knife went back to the spa at some point. It was slightly off-center and uh, had a few scuffs on it, and they brought this thing back to 100% perfection. It is quite a thing that uh, Chris Reeve does at his shop when you send it in to uh, get the spa treatment. He dead centered it perfectly. I didn't send it off. The person I bought it from had sent it off. Um, so I got it in this condition, which is basically mint. And uh, the only maker I know of that does a spa treatment like that, uh, many makers will fix things, especially mechanical things. Some custom makers will refurbish, but as far as production companies, I don't know of any other production companies that will basically refinish the knife, re-blast it, re-whatever, just make it basically like new. And I don't know how they do it with the uh, inlays, but uh, they do it somehow. All right, guys, went off on a tangent there, but this is my Chris Reeve 21, Sebenza 21, with ebony inlays, and it is a beauty. All right, guys. Talk to you later.